Well, here we are at the final lessons. Welcome, I'm Reverend Tomas Garza, and we're at the final lessons designated by Jesus himself as the final lessons. That's lesson 361 through 365. Yeah. <laughs> and you'll notice as you go through the commentary and the limited amount of material that talks about these lessons is that the intention is to go beyond words. Ultimately, that's what each of us is invited to do, is to go beyond words. Now here in the course, Jesus mentions it in several different ways. Why? Because there are many doors, like there are many spiritual traditions in the world. There are many approaches to the same truth, which as we know, is truth with a capital T. So for the next five recordings, we're not going to just do a blanket recording. Having done 360 of these workbook lessons, plus numerous interviews and additional other lessons to boot here, which actually brings the total number of, of these recordings to well over 400. Yeah, having come this far, we're not going to cheat ourselves and just do one blanket explanation for five lessons. We're going to gather here virtually and see what comes up for the next five days. Now, the idea for the next five days is one of those it's one of those collections of thoughts that really is intended to stick with you here in the workbook. If this is the first time you've done it, then congratulations here on getting near the end, right? Which, of course, as we know, is not the end. More on that later. But here we are, and there are some very memorable phrases and they're put in the form of ideas or maybe it's something that you, you really related to in one of the italicized prayers here in the workbook or one of the pieces of commentary that Jesus gives to explain the idea and practice periods and this is one of them that I have to tell you the first time I ever went through the workbook really really stuck with me and I'm glad I did this, but I really made the effort here at the end to take the saying that we're going to talk about for the next five days to heart. And I mean, really and truly to heart. So the idea is one that I invite you to commit not just to rote memory, but to heart memory, to embed in the fabric of your being, whatever analogy, be it visual, audio, tactile, whatever way this sticks with you, it's beautiful. It's an invitation to the Holy Spirit. In other words, it's an invitation to your inner teacher. Now, whether you take the Holy Spirit as the Course describes it as, as your inner teacher or not really doesn't make any difference. The purpose of this Course is for you to get in touch with your inner teacher, your guide or guides. Yeah, it could be Jesus, could be God, could be Buddha, it could be a human teacher. Get in touch with your inner guide, your inner teacher. That's all spirituality is saying. That's all A Course in Miracles is saying. The idea is this holy instant would I give to you. Be you in charge, for I would follow you. Certain your direction brings me peace. Yeah. We're giving 
this instant, this holy instant over to our inner teacher and inviting our inner teacher to be in charge. For we would simply do what our inner teacher bids us. Certain that its direction, his direction, her direction, their direction, will bring us peace. It will give us what we seek deep down, ultimately, the peace of God. How do we do it? We get out of our own way. We get in touch with our inner teacher and allow our inner teacher to take control. Do you still have free will? Yeah, you bet you do. Starting with the choice to give this guidance over to your inner teacher or try to keep it yourself. We've talked about this in many different ways here. That's the decision that each of us has and gets to exercise in the present moment of God or the ego, of love or fear, of self with a capital S, or little lowercase ego self that sees itself in mortal combat pitched battle with every living thing. Eat or be eaten, right? Kill or be killed. Yeah, that, that world. That world with which we identify all too often, pervasively to our own detriment. At this point, and really at any point in spirituality, None of these ideas is new. It's not about pulling something out of thin air. My job, as I've mentioned several times, as a teacher is to simply show up and share. It's really, literally, completely that simple. My job is to show up and share why I do not know who may be listening. I don't know what I'm going to say or have already said that's going to majorly and completely impact your life. My calling, so my function, my job is simply to show up and share the love of God with you. Incidentally, by sharing, we realize that we have it. To give and to receive, remember, are one in truth. So this holy instant would I give to you. Be you in charge, for I would follow you. Certain your direction gives me peace. And... I invite you to sit with that. Let the full meaning of this idea permeate every thought of yours. That's what the Course is aiming at, total thought reversal. Having done it part of the way, you've seen how it works. You have no doubt seen the benefits. So let this idea sit and go forth and practice. That's what Jesus is inviting us to do. It's what I invite you to do. And we'll be at this again. I'm going to do this four more times here. This is lesson 361, let's say. There can be no short-circuiting or shortcuts, not having come this far. So as always, thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you back here on the next video. Have a great day, everyone.